This weekend we're going to be moving a pedestrian tunnel from its existing location on the dispersal bridge to its new location in the new East Concourse. There will be an inconvenience over the weekend because there's less access off the platforms. We can manage it and the way we do that is with crowd control at platform level. We couldn't do that on a, a normal busy weekday, so that's why we're doing it this bank holiday weekend. We need to move this tunnel to allow us to form the atrium in the slab above us. There's basically a demolition operation going on and it would be unsafe to have the public underneath that. It's also a critical path activity. It is required for the atrium demolition to come through. Our main considerations is that it doesn't disrupt our passengers. We've been informing them what's been going on, what is going to happen and the benefits of what they'll see when they arrive here on Tuesday morning. Birmingham New Street being the main interchange station has a very high footfall, about 140,000 per day. The planning of this operation has been underway for I think 10 months in detail. The biggest challenge we've had so far is agreeing with the station and giving them confidence that our plan of 57 hours is, is uh, achievable. To give that confidence we've had to meticulously plan all of the works that we have here over the weekend. The next big challenge is making sure we deliver against that plan. The reason we've made it in sort of three and a half metre units is to make it easily transportable. There's 42 sections in total, which gives you about what, 140 metres of tunnel. We're 15 hours into the tunnel move and we've got on really, really well. We're currently forecasting a programme improvement of approximately 12 hours from where we planned it to be. You can see here where we've bolted a bracket onto the side of the tunnel and we simply jack it up, put a caster on and move it to the, the new location. One of the things we developed with the, uh, with the project team when we were planning these works to make it a lot easier is a plug and play system. So all of these assets, the PAVA and the CIS are, are daisy chained. So there's links between each asset as you go down. And then when they're back in final position, we can reconnect them back up and commission the assets again. 4D modelling has been very helpful in the planning of the tunnel move. It's helped with the engagement with the station stakeholders, allowing them to visualise what we're actually going to do for the station. That's the most critical aspect of our works is the public address system. On Tuesday morning at set time, there's going to be a, a voice alarm test. Uh, we've had to do a letter drop in advance to the local residents because obviously that's going to achieve minus 90 dB, which is quite loud. Attention please, this is an emergency. We're now entering into the last stages of the project delivery where we test and commission all the systems and integrate them back into the station themselves. With the tunnel sections now moved, the next operation is the demolition of the lower retail slab and to remove 2,000 tonnes worth of demolition material. Once that's out, you'll then be looking at the underside of the steelwork roof, uh, the ETFE on top, so you'll literally be stood at concourse level with natural light coming down to concourse for the first time. The station's primary objective was to cause minimum disruption to our customers. The project over the last 10 months have meticulously planned the Tunnel Move project along with New Street Station and all stakeholders. The project has been delivered on time, on schedule and a fantastic job has been done. It's something for the project to be proud of and indeed New Street Station. Very pleased. It's been a long 10 months and there's a lot of excitement over this tunnel move and I'm really chuffed with what we've achieved here and it's been a real pleasure to lead the team here this weekend.